Really nothing happening for them there. Kind of a bad showing. Well, Bobadil's gonna trigger. Thanks to the Asadil, even. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is nuts. <laughs> and the other Bobadil's gonna trigger. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Gnome here in, what do you know, we have early access. Yes, thank you wizards for allowing me to be in early access and play these awesome cards from Lord of the Rings. What other way to break in the new set than to play the five color Saga Commander? Sagas are great, five colors are great. You're gonna love this guy. The only thing about Tom Babadil is that he's kind of slow. And what I mean by that is trying to fix your mana and trying to play sagas while also trying not to die from your opponent is kind of clunky. And you may think it's easy to get four or more lore counters on something to give Tom Babadil hexproof and indestructible, but it is not. It's a lot harder than you think, especially since a lot of sagas come in with three chapters. By the time you end up playing Babadil, even if you're on curve, sometimes you still won't have those four lore counters. So it makes it really tough to decide when to play Bobadil. That's pretty much the weakness of the deck. The deck is a lot of fun and it's by no means super powerful like all the other five color commanders we have, but it is funny to see the deck pop off and just go crazy. So what I went ahead and did and just separate sagas from the deck and you can see that we're running a ton of sagas. I think we're running close to 30 here. The rest of the deck is either Lord of the Ring cards or stuff to help us ramp up into Bobadil or stuff that deals with enchantments like the new Calyx from Mom Aftermath. We can also copy our stuff with Weaver of Harmony, which is really sweet. We also have really funny way of getting extra sagas on the battlefield with Spark Double and Irenicus File Duplication. We can put both of those onto Tom Bobadil and your saga is just gonna go crazy when they start completing. So it's just a really fun deck and you're gonna really enjoy it, especially since everyone likes sagas, right? That's just my take on it. Because a lot of these cards are Lord of the Ring cards, the deck isn't optimized at all. I just wanted to show a lot of the Lord of the Rings. So that's pretty much gonna be a lot of what the early access is is a lot of the lord of the ring cards so thank you wizards again hit the like button hit the subscribe button i'm going to be coming out with other decks over the weekend to get you ready for the release on tuesday so sit back relax and enjoy tom bobadil without further ado let's get right into it and let's see how the deck does shall we let's keep this Ooh, look at that animation for that that's sick all right let's play the overgrown Tomb, untap, me and tap. I'm so excited, can't even think straight. All right, let's throw out the steam vents. Really wasn't a reason for that. I'm gonna play the arcane signet. Looks like we're both ramping up here. <laughs> you wish Arena had Pauper in Artisan formats? That'd be cool. Maybe in the future they'll start doing stuff like that, you know? Like, they'll start adding more formats, hopefully. The magic is so vast, man. There's so many, so many formats and stuff. Orcish Bowmasters. This card is nuts. Whenever an opponent enters a battlefield or whenever an opponent draws a card except the first one they draw in each of their draw steps, it does one damage to any target and then they amass or Orcs one. That's so crazy. So is this, is, does this trigger for each card drawn? I wonder. Um, what do we play first, man? I don't know. I think we play the Eldest Reborn first. Draw a card off of that.
I guess I should turn the music on Arena down. Since we're playing music on the stream. Oh. Wait, so this this triggers for each card drawn, or is that is that when we draw? Or is that just like so if we draw four cards, does this trigger once or does this trigger for each card drawn? That is powerful. If it's uh each card drawn. Yeah, it's very good for a two drop. What's up, Grande? Sacks the Orcish Bowmasters? Very interesting. Very interesting. I would have thought he would have sacked the army. Oh, two hit a giant would be dope in arena. If they did that, they'd have to add a commander. <laughs> what are you going to do, Wagos? I think the only Lord of the Rings card we have here is the Goldberry River Daughter. Uh, we're not going to block that. No, thank you, sir. How many cards in the set? 200 something? 284, I believe. No, not that many, is it? Actually, I'm not entirely sure. I'm really surprised he sacked the Bowmaster with the Enchanter out. Because... He could just keep pinging us whenever we keep casting enchantment spells. What they get rid of? Inherited envelope? Nice. Uh, so we can play Boba Deal, but I'm pretty sure they have a counter for it. Hey, Brazo, what's up? We can... We can do Weaver of Harmony and hope to draw into, draw into a... Uh, Drawn to a land with the enchanter. Thank you, good boy. My wife has made me breakfast. Mm. Get the spicy ketchup. What you guys know about the spicy ketchup? Yes, please. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Couldn't hear you. The headphones are like over my ear. All right. We did draw a land. So that's good. It's untapped, but it's going to have to do. Let's play Goldberry River Daughter. That's going to be our turn. Yeah, the grind's definitely gonna be real. We're not gonna we're not gonna swing. So this is the problem, I guess, with this deck. Is it's gonna be very slow and once uh Thanks, Bibble. Uh hold on one sec. Um, oh, did they sack the Mind Stone? Wow, they must be mana screwed. So, so the only thing about this deck is, uh, especially in early access, a lot of my optimization kind of went out the window because I was like, man, I kind of really want to play the Lord of the Rings cards. So, I kind of didn't, I threw a lot of the decent stuff out for for the Lord of the Rings cards. Is there another creature? No, that's it. I was going to say we can maybe copy it with the Weaver of Harmony's ability, but... We get the Bowmaster! Let's go! 
<laughs> That's sick. Uh Okay, let's play Tom Bombadil. I hope, I hope he doesn't hope he doesn't counter this. Please don't counter it. <laughs> Amathon, what's up? Yeah, spicy ketchup from Whataburger. Gochujang is better than spicy ketchup? I don't even know what that is. Move a counter of each kind not on Goldberry from another target permanent you control onto Goldberry. Oh, so I can put this 1-1 counter from the Orc army onto Goldberry. But that would kill the Orc. So we're not going to do that. I wonder if they have a removal spell for... Uh... Screw it, I'm just going to swing at everything. What can they possibly flash in for 2 mana that can get rid of these? There's actually a lot of stuff, but we're here to play the game, not be scared. To the line long <laughs> at Waterberg near you. <laughs> Waterberg's good, man. Yes, I am from Texas. That's for sure. <laughs> you know that. With the what with the spicy ketchup? No! <laughs> I had a feeling. I had a feeling he was setting something up like that. Looks like this game just got a lot longer. I you know what? I shouldn't have overcommitted like that anyway. Kind of just got excited. Let's play let's play the War of the Last Alliance. We can get Sithis or Jorah. Let's get let's get Sithis. Oh, a spicy Korean paste. That's what gochujang is. Oh, it's not tomato based. Gotcha. I don't know, man. I like my spicy ketchup. Ooh, Sauron the Necromancer. But they don't have no creatures in their graveyard. Oh, they have the Bowmaster. Oh, we can actually go get another one. Uh, I guess we'll go get the Joyro. I need to take some of these Triumphs out. It's going to make the deck super slow. Play Sithis. We'll play... Uh... kind of want to draw a card. So let's play Joyra. We can draw double the cards. Once we play our sagas. I'm I'm very sad that he blew up Bobadil. <laughs> It is what it is, man. You know, I I should have had the lore counters on him. So this, it's it's really difficult. I'm realizing to uh, get get him to have indestructible and hexproof. The bowmasters. That's so sick, dude. That's really sick. Oh look, Sethus gets double strike. I don't know if we're gonna live till next turn. Guess we play the Phyrexian scriptures. But that's not really gonna do much. And then we can play the vile duplication. Give us another creature so we can block Sauron, but I don't know if that's gonna be it. It's gonna be enough. 
They don't have a creature to resurrect. But if they sack Ring Wraiths, then we're just screwed either way. Hmm. Yeah, we're in a predicament. I'm just gonna do... I'm just gonna play this. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. We can't... Oh, I forgot the Elder Dragon War has read ahead. I totally forgot about that. Uh, They probably have a removal spell. But let's create the dragon, I guess. We're not going to attack. Tom, he's pretty slow. I... Well... Like I said before, I... Oh, can't block. There and back again. Oh, jeez. That sucks. That's going to probably make us lose there. So, he's kind of slow. And you want to have a bunch of sagas, but... I mean, this is the first game I've built him. I mean, I've played him, so... And the playtest, he was good, but... That's playtest. <laughs> Is he going to swing the army too? So we have to block this or we die. What this deck needs is a lot of ramp. A lot of fixing. Ramp. Because a lot of the... A, a lot of the... Uh, Sagas are three, four mana. Yo, Grande, appreciate the five dollars, man. Always coming in clutch, buddy. I guess he just wanted to play a new card. Rush the room. Plus one, plus one gains first strike. Let's go. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we do this, we have nine. So we, that can actually enter tap. There's no we're gonna there's no reason to lose two extra life. Oh, commander sphere. Oh nice, he's back, he's here. Um We can play the file duplication and then play Showdown of the Skulls. We gain two life and we draw two cards. Yeah. And let's see what they have now because we kind of just saved ourselves by playing the Phyrexian scriptures. Uh Whoa. Lights just went off for a sec. The mouth of Sauron, okay. I'm glad that doesn't make us lose life. <laughs> Alright, shut down the skull triggers. We exile their graveyard. Play the watery grave. Um, let's play the cruelty of Gix. We gain two life. We're just gonna put it on the first chapter. Ooh. Oh, wait, no, I thought that was. Banditry with that other card. Uh, and then we will play the Jagan Defends the Temple.
And then we'll play the fall of Gilgalad. Sithis is nuts. Like we already knew that. Oh, I'll keep the presents on top. We might deck ourselves here. At this rate. Discard. Let's discard this. Discard this. Discard this. Uh, I guess we can keep the dry essence. We can play extra lands. Yeah, we'll get rid of those. So now we can play Tom Bobadil. And then we have Hexproof and Indestructible next turn because we'll have four more lore counters on our sagas. Does the arena change the way you're able to add players? Oh, he did it. He's got the Sauron out. Oh, this thing has haste? Oh, crap. The saga. I forgot about that. I wouldn't have swung. Ooh, are we going to die? Um, nah, you just add people down here. You go to the add sign right here and... That's how you add people. Um, whew, do I risk? I have to take this. I think I block here. I don't like going down to one. Even though... They don't really have anything. I really don't like going down to one. All right, our sagas are going to trigger. Can we win? Oh, we lose three life. It's going to hurt. Uh, we can go get... Oh, we can go get any card. Don't know why I was thinking like it had to be a saga. Let's go get... Let's go get a cheap saga, actually. Let's get this one. I think we win with uh, Michigo. Michigo's Reign of Truth. Yeah, we didn't even need Bobadil. We just won with Sithis. That's unfortunate. GG's, buddy. GG's, Wago. That was that was a close game. If we didn't have that Phyrexian Scriptures, we would have died. Yeah, we just won with Sithis. We didn't even win with Bobadil. <clears throat> the good thing is that they go first. Appreciate that. Brazo. Since the commander decks aren't on Arena, I have not even checked out the commander decks. So I have no idea what they are. Golem Scheming Guide. Choose land or non-land. An opponent guesses whether the top card of your library is the chosen kind. Reveal that card. If they guess right, remove Golem from combat. Otherwise, you draw a card and Golem can't be blocked this turn. Do, do we get any indication of what it might be? Uh, Land? Pretty sick. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> it's it's so weird to see in a to, to see a uh, an ability like that on arena. Usually. Oh, what happened there? 
He's saying there might be a bug somewhere. Uh, play a citizen champion. Oh, he, I guess he got confused. Sorry. I mean, that that's a lot of text on this golem, dude. I'm not going to lie. I don't even... I just chose whatever one. I didn't even really... Didn't really think about it. So... When it attacks, you look at the top two cards of your library, put them back in any order, then choose land or non-land. An opponent guesses whether the top card of your library is a chosen kind. Reveal that card. But why do they tell you if it's... Oh, because... I don't, I don't know. <laughs> the ring tempts you, then each player mills cards equal to your ring bearer's power. All right. Uh, let's play Sterling Grove. Then we'll play the Sanctum Weaver. And we'll uh, swing in. I don't know. That's a weird ability for... Uh... Oh shit, I didn't even... I didn't realize that. <laughs> Read the cards, guys. Read the cards. I wouldn't have played Citizen Champion there. I mean, not Citizen Champion. I wouldn't have played the Sanctum Weaver. <laughs> I totally screwed that up. <laughs> We're gonna die to Skolem. Such a sneaky little weasel, isn't he? Right, I'm gonna choose non-land. <laughs> I've been choosing land every time. And I kept getting it wrong. All right, we can play the Conquer's Death on the. Or you know what? I kind of want to. Nah, let's play Conquer's Death. Oh, Golem's two man. God, so many misplays. <laughs> I wanted to take care of the Golem. Oh well. What did I get rid of? Oh. Cruelty of Gix. So as long as we guess right, we don't take combat damage. It's good to know. Why did it tap the blue and red? Why not tap the Guardian Idol? I hate when Auto Tapper does that. It's really annoying. Um, I guess we'll play the War of Last Alliance. I wanted to wait so we could play Tom Bobadil, but... <laughs> uh, let's get... Let's get Sithis. Here we go again with the Sithis. The Bowmasters, there we go. There was a bug where if I flipped a battle and my, my commander had flash, I would have to choose one of them. And the other would be lost forever, not even exiled, just literally gone. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> That's such a weird... That's a weird bug. Why? Rankle. Yeah, I knew that was coming. So we have to guess right now, right? Or we take a ton of damage. 
8, 9, 10. Oh, they put it on Rankle so they can definitely get the damage through. Very smart move, Brazo. Very smart. Palantir of Orthok. I, I probably butchered that. Can definitely throw away the heroic intervention. Uh, there's not much we can do against Rankle. Oh, Bowmaster with Rankle? That's really good. Uh, let's sacrifice the Sterling Grove. We need to get rid of Rankle. We also need to get rid of the board state. Uh, what can we get? No, that's not going to do it. Binding? Binding gets rid of the... Binding gets rid of the Black Blade Reforged, but I need to get rid of Rankle too. I need to get rid of the board state, to be honest. Don't think it's gonna. Don't think we're gonna get it though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. I guess if anything, we can. Uh, I guess we'll just keep the binding. Get the status and champion. Yeah, it's really weird. Um, it's really weird trying to defend against this here. If we had enough mana, we could probably get rid of the Black Wave Forge and do the battle of Frost and Fire. That's not going to get rid of Wrinkle, though. But I guess, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Oh, our mana screwed up here. Yeah, I think I think no matter what we do, we did we're dead. I think we just destroy the Rankle. They have to pay mana to, to equip the Black Blade Reforged onto the Golem. And then we can go get... Frexian Scriptures is too slow, but we'll just, we'll just get it. I think that's game just uh, off of the board state there. Unfortunately. We ring in. Yo, JK, appreciate it, man. Yeah, we're we're doing the we're doing the stuff. Yeah. That's GG's. Bobadil not getting it done. See, you see what I mean, though? Like, we need ramp. And we just keep drawing, uh... Keep drawing sagas. Well, there might be too many sagas in the deck. I'm gonna get grilled for this. But can somebody tell me the difference between Sauron and Gandalf? Because I totally forgot, because I watched the movie when, when, I, when I was, like, 12. Yeah, we'll keep this.
This is actually a pretty good hand. Oh, persist. Oh, he's playing mill. Let's play the fall of Gilgalad. Actually, we could uh, actually let's keep that on top. Sauron's evil, right? That's what I thought. I was like, okay, he does have black in his mana cost. I was like, what's the difference between Sauron and Sauron? Why are their names so similar? No, all that hard work for to scry just for our stuff to go to the graveyard. Nothing too crazy yet. Two of our sagas had to deal with a creature being on a battlefield, so. The director of promised the actor of Saruman that he would be Gandalf, but that never happened. That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> like, nah, we don't need you no more. You can play this other guy that looks like Gandalf. Sauron's the big eye, but Sauron's the shadow wraith dude. You know, I gotta go back and watch the movies. Oh my goodness. We're gonna get milled. This is when this is so slow of a hand. Oh my we didn't even draw. We didn't even draw land. Alright, we're playing the one ring, baby. Nope, no land. That sucks. That sucks. We gotta finish them off before we... Before we get milled. I got 40 land in the deck, man. We shouldn't be stolen out. Swings. We gain protection from everything until our next turn. So that's why. Alright, we gotta we gotta draw some cards. We gotta draw a land or something. Hmm? Oh yeah. Uh Yeah, this is not not the greatest of hands. Get rid of that. A lot of our sagas cost four and five mana. Which sucks. <laughs> I want to keep the... Oh, we only have to get rid of one. Sorry. Oh, we have to, we do have to get rid of two. All right, let's get rid of that. He's missing his white land drop. Guess we're all having trouble hitting our lands. He uses his a big eye to look at things, but it's easier to think of him as the eye. Gotcha. My man is missing out on lands. Let's get rid of the Trium. Um. Let's 
play Calyx. See what I mean? It's just a lot of our stuff. We we can't double spell. It takes so long to put these sagas down, and you want you want four lore counters on your sagas, so you you got to double spell sagas together. It's actually not as good as I thought it would be. Because you, because you, ideally want Bob, uh, Bobadil to come, to come down. Uh, with the indestructible and axe proof, we're just getting milled out. The one ring is, this card is nuts. I wish there was a select all button. Because we have to do all of these manually. Add double blue, that's good. Um Yeah, let's play Bobadil. And we'll copy him. Actually let's not copy him yet. Let's play a let's play uh Let's play a Saga first. Let's get rid of those three. Let's make a dragon. Oh, that's so good. We we get rid of the we get rid of the saga for the for the read ahead. Didn't even think about that, but it worked out. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Morari's way could definitely help here. Definitely. We need some some more ramp, mana doublers or something. Cause I feel like the the mana is just so slow. And our opponent, they don't even have their white source. So this isn't really even a fair fight. They're trying to mill us, but we just shuffled a bunch of our cards back into our library. Missing their land drops. We're gonna die from the one ring. Uh, let's put the long list of ints. I don't know. Yeah, we're doing the thing. I'll keep those. We'll copy B Bobadil. Do we have another read ahead? Oh. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair.
they delve into the dungeon. Yeah, if they can't do anything next turn, we just lose. I mean, they, they just lose. I'm just gonna throw those at the bottom. It's like, it's like once the ball gets rolling, it's fun and crazy to see your sagas go off like this, but it takes a lot to set up and they finally hit their white mana. Which kind of sucks. Josh, what up, buddy? What's up? What's up? I got your reference. I got your reference. <laughs> 31 cars left they might have done it they might have done it if we didn't, if they drew their stuff earlier, they weren't hitting their land drops. They, there was really nothing. Really nothing happening for them there. Kind of a bad showing. Well, Bobadil's going to trigger. Thanks to the Asaga leaving. Oh my gosh. This is nuts. <laughs> and the other Bobadil is going to trigger. <laughs> I don't even know at this point. Sure. <laughs> oh my goodness. GG's buddy. The one ring is good, man. This car is... Imagine this in a life gain deck. How crazy would that be? You just keep drawing every turn. And it's indestructible. The mana is probably going to hold the deck a bit. Yeah. Yeah. The, the mana is what's really holding the, the deck back. Because you can really get out of hand quickly. But the mana is just... Not there a lot of the times. <laughs> 